ways to to get him out or heal him up, but you're lacking it in this game for sure. Yeah. It's uh, going to be a struggle. There's always ways to take team fights here on Jake Warriors. They're always going to be able to split push with Hain, but uh, four Zoomers are draft is definitely favored here. Just see the, the work that Ocean is going to be able to do. I mean, the Terrorize with the, uh, the Mars ultimate feels so good as well. It is. It's so fun to watch. It really is. They run themselves into the wall again and again. All right. We've done it. Game number two. I'm excited. Honestly, after last game, this should be a lot of fun. We'll see, you know, four zoomers try to have a little bit of meme fun. Oh, we're paused. Damn it. Well, welcome to the uh, pause brought to you by Monster Energy, the sponsor of the BTS Pro Series 4. Speaking of which, you know what I'm going to grab? You're going to crack yourself open a cold one, I imagine. Yeah, brother. Got myself a Pacific punch here. Ready them eardrums. Oh, oh yeah, I'm ready for this. It's gonna be a great game. Time to get energized. Thank you, Monster, for keeping us going. Grab myself. Oh dang, up. I didn't even have any chance here to to sip it. What are you doing? Just unpause immediately. It's all right. Just uh, get Jerry to control the camera for a second for us. Oh, he's always controlling the camera. I don't know what we're talking about. So I'll just commentate over the things that are happening in the game. The tips coming out uh, against both sides. I see you learn the way of trap. And pick one for your so I don't know what this means. Hmm. Hmm. Mini is some questionable all chat, so I'm not even gonna go into that one. We'll just ignore it. <laughs> uh, it's fine, it's fine. He's got himself a bit of a bad reputation in my books. I'm gonna whack him on the head every so often. Yep. Something Thirty seconds to battle. Some of those uh, voice lines from uh, Dire Tide were pretty cool. I really like the violin stabs. One of my absolute favorites. I miss the the Aghanim's Labyrinth ones. Dude, right? Why did those get removed? Those were so good. They were seasonal. I like that they're doing seasonal things again. I'm just a little. I know I shouldn't be begging here. Beggars can't be choosers, but I, I'm disappointed that the Dire Tide came out like just before Halloween. Oh, like the week of Halloween? Like the wasn't it like the day of or something like thirtieth that it came out? Um, yeah, I think it was. I think you're right. Yeah. And then they're like, uh, uh go till December twenty something. Yeah, and at that point, they'll probably release Frostivus on, like, December 24th. <laughs> I assume there's a Frostivus, come on. Uh, I thought that's what they would do, uh, all things considering. I'd be like, yeah, they'll leave this open, and then Frostivus will come right after. We'll have lots of updates. It's been, uh, we've been on 7.27 for five and a half months now. <laughs> By a months or years? I don't know. Yeah. Either way, the meta is getting a little bit stale. Everyone has seemed to have figured it out. I've seen enough Sven for a very long time. Gunner just crushing many in his mid lane. He has hit so many Psyblades. Oh my goodness. And as you said, none of that can be reduced by the Resonant Pulse at all. Brax. Uh, well, the first point in the gods are peak, but not much kill potential gets his uh, spear of Mars. Be able to throw people through multiple brambles here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I forgot about that interaction. Now, does the damage stack or does it refresh it? That's a good question. Uh, it pretty sure it. Uh, oh, the damage? It definitely uh, uh, stacks the damage. Okay, that's why I would have expected. Yeah, for each one you go through, then it refreshes the duration, I believe. Well, it's uh, lots of damage just because it's one of the higher level one damage abilities. You have 125 for each one you go through, so it really adds up. All right, bottom lane. Brax having a really uh, decent time here against the face of Void, which once you have level two spear, you can't backtrack any of this damage, but Phoenix just gets slapped there by that one. Ocean, kind of low as well. Nice bash there. Can Benny get in range for the auto? attack he will interrupt that dive as a result really sick play there from Brax first blood goes to ocean but he will go down on the Mars that was a sick God's rebuke 
Uh, yeah, well played there uh, by Brax. And, you know, he's just going to come back to lane with full HP and mana. He's dropping pretty low regardless. He's going for earn first again. We've seen him do this a number of times. It feels a little bit cocky in my opinion, but uh, I guess the, the armor and mana regen he gives you does make sense in a lot of offlane heroes. This time he doesn't have an invoker who also wants to build a spirit vessel on his team, so violence, not going to have to sell it. Sorry, finally. He's got the Ricky on it as well. Huh? He's got the, the Ricky emote on it I as know. well. Gunner, uh, he's a man after my own heart. Hmm? A Ricky fan. We got some Ricky fans in the chat as well. Everyone is dropping yeah. uh, the Ricky chair. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a classico emo for sure. Uh, Hunter, 15 and 7 in the mid lane, having a fantastic time. I mean, it, there's really no point in this lane where he's going to really struggle, right? He'll just eventually win the lane and then go jungle. Mini's just going to keep taking so much harassment from these side blades. Yep. And, uh, you know, Resident Paul's not doing anything like we talked about to uh, make that much more of a struggle for Void Spirit. Just uh, being able to reflect the damage right through it with the side blade spill. They almost brought down Ma in the top lane, but a nice fairy fire to keep him alive. Uh, almost a repeat of last game. Would have been very, very good for that Drow to get that kill. Yeah, look at it. It just Gosh. goes right through it. It's yeah. beautiful. Four minute bounty or er, bounties, power runes, mini guesses top, and of course the rich get richer as we like to say. Gunner finds it bottom. Nuage is able to sidestep that bramble. Will survive. Just barely gets out of there with the dive. So it's uh, not going to feel very good. Yeah, Gunner, he doesn't even. Oh, Husky. He's going to cut him off and break his salve. Or Ocean, rather, is going to cut him off and break his salve. That feels real bad. Now Nuage is. He can't walk back bottom because there's a dark willow here. Yeah, I think he knows that there's uh, an Observer Ward somewhere around there, so he's going to go ahead and uh, try to de-ward it. He's got a Sentry in his inventory right now. They're both in somewhat obvious places. I mean, I think if he gets it perfectly, he can get them both, but it's a little bit tricky. Uh, Bramble did not catch Benny here in the bottom lane. He doesn't have time off for six more seconds, though. God's Rebuke. Can they get the kill? The Dark Realm damage? Shot of Dark, shot of dark Realm. That is a, you know, a different, uh, different game there, but it's fine. There's going to be... A nice spear one more time. Benny falling low, but he's going to survive. Yep. That uh, Shadow Realm not connecting there means uh, Void does manage to get out of that one. He's got too much armor for you to deal with it. Uh, Wraith Band doing a bit of work here up against Brax. Husky is just beating these men down in the top lane. The Snowball, or I'm sorry, the um, Sprout almost saves him for a moment, but ends up finding the kill. Hayne going to salve up TP back to base. He has global teleportation to return. Is this fight recap broken for you? It doesn't show you what abilities were used. Oh, yeah, I see it. You see it? Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. It'll, 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 it'll be fixed for you in a, in a moment. Nope. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully the next fight then. <laughs> so I wanted to see uh, Salve. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was Tusks who used it. Onto the Ninja's Prophet there. Woo! Almost gets that Bramble once again. This uh, Phoenix playing with fire, literally. So one of the things that makes TA so strong is if you cannot purge these uh, psionic traps in the mid lane, which we're going to see exactly why right now it's a big problem. Many loses so much of his health. If you don't have a sentry here to, to break these traps, you can't come back to the lane to contest it. Uh, he can now that he is level six with, the, uh, with those astral steps, but before then he was in a lot of trouble. And bot lane, nice rotation from the tusk. They get Mars. Mm -hmm. Brags having uh, gone down twice. Uh, he had a sick God's Rebuke earlier, but since then, uh, not a whole lot he's able to do. He needs to get that arena online, so he's got kill potential on the faceless void. Him and Dark Willow both. Uh, I think uh, Ocean, he needs Gunner to retreat in the jungle for a little while. But he's got to stack some camps in order. He's got to make Gunner want to leave. See? That's the issue with Ocean right now. Yeah. Back up to those ancients and stack them for him. Yeah, Ocean's like, come on, bro, just give me some solo experience. But no. You gotta earn it. You gotta stack you those have camps. To earn it. 53 second mark. It's passed. No more stack. Eronis. Oh, didn't do anything right there. It's a small play police calling yet again. Now, are stackies basically the same thing as snackies for us in real life? Where we're like, we just love them? Yes. All right. Nice. <laughs> I'm a, a big snacker myself. <laughs> Top lane, hate it. In some trouble, the multi shot comes out. Ma has shown up. There's going to be the sprout giving him some space. Tusk has no mana to work with at all. 
They do have a fire blast available, stunning up the Tusk. Salmon by plenty of damage. One more, uh, uh, wait, third backing? Okay. They were afraid of the Benny rotation, but Ma, he's going to go down to the Ignite anyway. Yeah. Well, he's not going to get any XP from that because he was dead for it, uh, unfortunately, but does get uh, 185 gold. Nage soaking some nice experience in the mid lane. And Ocean doing exactly what you talked about. They have... <laughs> oh, no, there's a sentry, though. Oh, it's a disaster. The economic yeah, damage. Man, you knew Nage is... He's, uh, he's 200 IQ. He's way ahead of him. Yep. Connor's going to find a DD rune, but no ancient stack. Gunner's not going to be happy to find that. Oh, no. He's about to get yelled at. Let's see it. He's like, sir. There's Let's see the pings. Group of creeps missing. Bottom lane, though. Snowball Sandboy. He's really far forward. In comes the arena, but he's just dead. That was an awkward uh, situation there. You don't know if you want to be all the way down there by yourself. You have no Dark Willow. Your gunner is uh, jungling on the TA. A single agent camp, even. Radiance Nobody's found a sentry to deal with this one. This it's gonna it's gonna block it again. This sentry ward is so high value right now, slowing down the TA's farm. They're just gonna go take the enemy agents, right? That's that's the that's the actual play. With a five head? Yeah, something like that. Poor man shield there gonna be dropped for uh, nature's profit i'm assuming they'll eventually move that over to the faces void yes they do and that baited brooch found on mini he's gonna be happy about that one i mean templar assassin would probably rather have what like the iron talon yeah for sure but if he gets it i'll take it for uh, if he if he can yeah faded brooch isn't that bad the extra movement speed for being able to run people man but still royal jelly is pretty pretty good as well they end up dewarding it? No, it still sits there. It's going to block it again. This is such a high value sentry ward. Yeah, right, there we go. A, Ocean. One. Ocean's finally picking it out. He's like, all right, guys, I'm on my way. I'll get it. He's going to just sentry the center of the camp, maybe? Uh, no, he goes on the top side. Okay. He'll get it. There we go. Took him a while, though. Yep. Indeed. He doesn't get to he doesn't get to sit mid and soak up XP because he hasn't earned his keep around here. Gunner is level 10, though, on this draw range, or draw, what? On this TA at 10 minutes, so he's having a fantastic game. Top lane, mini rotating, looking for Husky, who's just been sitting in the safe lane, farming some experience. There's going to be the fire blast. He just go ahead and bloodlust his own tower. He's like, yeah, I'm going down. I might as well give my tower a fighting chance here. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. What it level is, is bloodlust? Just level one. Tower slaps. Yeah. Bottom lane tier one, though, not going to survive. Yeah, it's uh, probably going to turn out being a one for one. They are set up here in the top lane. Uh, still having Kronos here, here on Benny. Catapult on the top tier one, nothing that they're able to do. In fact, Nature's Prophet teleports up here for good measure. And uh, Ma securing the back lane, searching through these trees here for any possible resistance. They turn their eyes mid, though. Brax is going to go down. Wow, they do. Really nice catch there, and they're going to look for a voice uh, spirit, but able to just da dash away. Phoenix stunned up. No mana quite yet for that egg. Wand coming off cooldown, though, so it should be fine. Gunner is here, though. You got to be careful of this guy. They're TPing in the Tusk. Pops his refraction now. They could dive for it. Blocks off that escape gunner. He's in some trouble. They just immediately egg. In comes the terrorize. Two of them being set the complete opposite way. Gunner needs to leave. He's gonna get stunned. In comes Benny as well. He walks into a bramble though, and they're slowed by the trap. They cannot get in range for the chrono. Nice disengage there from Zoomers, forcing a big cooldown. Mm, was nervous there for a second for Zoomers. It looked like Gunner could have potentially been caught out, but no egg means they are able to take this fight. A lot of damage coming out from that meld strike. They're still looking for this mid tower. Of course, you have that uh, chrono, but there's not a lot of follow-up damage. Oh, Wrath of Nature is it just comes off cooldown, but ends up throwing it in mid lane first. So it doesn't do that much. And there it is. Mid tower will fall. There is still much top tower is under attack. Yeah, mid tower uh, going down there. So map control going in favor of four zoomers. He's going to be happy about uh, grabbing that one. Looked a little bit uh, dicey there for a little bit, but Dyer's without that egg and chronosphere combination, four zoomers definitely are able to take these favorable team, team fights. I mean, you have to be very worried about the arena blood and terrorize combination, right? Yeah. 
I'm gonna tip Ocean in real life every single time he destroys one of Nuage's sentries. In real life? Yeah, I'm gonna give I'm gonna tip this boy. Ah, Kill I as see. many as you can, Ocean. That's where all of your hard-earned summit dollars are going. <laughs> <laughs> Just killing these stupid sentries. L dollars, as I like to call them. Uh, L dollars, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Bottom lane, Brax getting wrapped around on. Minnie's gonna find him. No Yules, but not really necessary. They have the setup from the snowball. A nice centaur there to secure the kill as well. Going on over to Hain. Nice kill, nice rotation once again from these guys. No. Nah. Top lane, uh, forced to TP out now, and um, I'm gonna start farming out this lane. This is the last uh, tier one tower up, uh, almost untouched, only having like 15 damage on it. So, Sammy Boy will uh, turn his eyes over to that one. At least I thought he would. It was back in the jungle, though. I haven't got no idea what I'm talking about, obviously. We'll look elsewhere. <laughs> away from my embarrassment. No one saw it, it's fine. Yeah. What's Hayne going? He's going same build as last time, this Orchid Malevolence Rush. I mean, it's great against uh, heroes like TA, but she's going to get a BKB, uh, you know, after Blink Deso, so it ends up kind of becoming less um, impactful. Mm -hmm. But the one thing you have to consider is Sprout's really good against uh, both Drow and TA until they have, you know, four staffs for the Hurricane Pikes, and TA does not want to have to get a Hurricane Pike anytime soon. Mm. Yeah. TA, uh, yeah, he's just happy to wait, right? He doesn't want to take the fight until the, the Desolate is completed. So I think they're doing them a favor right now in Jaguar is. I mean, look at his net worth. He's huge. 7,200 at 14 minutes. Yeah. Gunner's having a fantastic time. He's got Blink Dagger. He's more than halfway to his Deso. Hmm. What's Brax doing? Yules is almost done. So uh, that's his setup in these team fights and... Makes it much easier to deal with his faces for. They need a way to like hard log him down. Okay, they do know there's a ward here. It got placed just a moment ago. Ocean trying to get in range. They do have their own high ground ward here to consider. Mini, Nuages, all being scouted by Husky. They don't want to initiate on the Ogre, but they're going to go for it anyway. Bramble is there holding them in place, but Husky, he's alone. Falling low, the Gust will, dis uh, will miss, but they just disengage. I mean, this guy is so tanky. He just gets his sentries delivered, and now he's just going to go D-Ward them. Oh, yeah, just a casual free sal from uh, that shovel. Mortality. Good worries. I deal ports down to the bottom. And all right, he's got his Yule Scepter done now. So that's his first item. The one thing that uh, they do have going for them here on uh, Jake Warris is uh, meaning he's actually having a pretty good game. Yeah, he is. You're right. But the fact on uh, ping disadvantage and whatnot, sitting at uh, 2 0 and 2, almost 90 CS. He's playing uh, very safe. And he will be able to uh, save himself from a potential setup on Brack with his own Yule Scepter. Battle Fury is done now, which, you know, obviously gives us here a lot more farming potential. The thing you have to consider, though, is you have this TA, you do have a decent amount of control for the Faceless Void until he has, you know, a BKB or a Manta. And you have to be able to remove the Cursed Crown, the Spear as well, set up uh, easily from the Yules into the arena. is just uh, pretty much a death sentence if there's uh, additional heroes there. Yeah. We'll uh, see that one come into effect pretty lane, soon. Trying to invade into Sammy, and Husky's just going to throw his body at them. He's going to go down for it. A nice to simulate there to finish off the kill. Well played by Mini and the boys on Jaguars. The question is, they might just chase here. Ocean looking for a Curse Crown target. Ma, not the ideal one, but they're just going to go Yule set up into the uh, arena. Even the Terrorize. This is a lot of hate for a Tusk. Well, they'll take what they can get right now. The game has been pretty slow for the last couple of minutes, so might as well commit those abilities. It's only uh, 75 seconds on cooldown right now. It's not like you're committing a 160 second ability like Chronosphere. So, well, they'll take the pick off. Phase is void. Nice wave cut. Yeah, Phase is void is happy to bide his time right now. I mean, he'll outfarm the Templar Assassin with his Battle Fury, at least uh, by a little bit. Also, has the mobility ability to time walk. So Blink Deso, BKB, going to be the next item on Gunner. Like we said, the Orchid becomes a lot less useful when you have that BKB on TA. And he does have it completed going for a Solar Crest next. But, I mean, if he's able to get on top of a hero at this point with a BKB, he just kills them. They are smoked up. Your top river, the Radiant scans it right on the money, actually. I think they're expecting them to be in Roche, but 
Now they don't know. Oh, if they Smoke can get them themselves. on top of this hill. Husky, the perfect hero to scout this one out. Brax, no arena though. He does have the Yules for the spear. It looks like they just kind of want to disengage. Benny is looking for the, the Chrono target, but TA, she's got plenty of space. And on the side, the Gust does end up catching the Tusk, the Chrono, just on the Mars, but the Curse Crown stuns the Void. He hasn't done any damage yet. It's all just been Hain on the Nature's Prophet. And now they're going to chase what? down this, this Faceless Void. Time walks away, but in the meantime, Gunner going to take down Mini in the process. Well, they do manage to get Brax there, but uh, they commit the Chronosphere. They lose Mini, who was having a pretty game, uh, good game up till now, and they lost this fight right beside the objective. So Roche gonna go the way of four Zoomers and taking yeah. it down so fast with the Meld and the Desolator. It's the double into triple Meld Strike death. So a lot of people, for those of you who don't know, you can just cast Meld and then it applies on the auto attack. So you get to double attack with Meld Strike for that extra bonus armor. They managed to catch Benny, tries to time walk away, but in comes Gunner. Terrorize is there as well. That is a great use of that spell just to make sure that Faceless Void goes down. Yeah. Just like that, <laughs> game gets even easier for four Zoomers. Things have finally started to turn on their head. I mean, wooden probability was definitely going their way, but now with an XP starting to tilt in their favor quite a bit. They have so much pick off now. I mean, anyone that they walk into is just like borderline dead if Gunner is nearby. He does so much damage now. Yep. You do have the ability to take these uh, big team fights with uh, Phoenix Egg and uh, Chronosphere, but it's hard for you to get that hit up. They take such scrappy fights here on four Zoomers, and they're in and out very quickly with these Blink Daggers. Now going for one on Brax. Once he gets that, you know, a such favorable setup. Finally getting the arenas they want out. But yeah, and they're going to have four staff on Jar Ranger here very quickly into the Hurricane Pike, which makes her a more difficult target to Chronosphere unless she's already stunned. But you can't uh, hit her with the Sprout either, so just it's just looking like it's getting a little bit more difficult here for Jaguars as this goes. And Wage is able to find some farm. He has a Perseverance, which makes me assume it's going to be a Lotus Orb. I actually don't know. What is this Perseverance for? Oh, Meteor Hammer. Duh. All right, Phoenix and uh, Hain able to catch Dark Willow here in the bottom lane. First good use of that uh, Orchid. <laughs> it would be hilarious if he just would burst in and refresh your orb. <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, I was like, is he just quite a refresher? I was like, no. Nah, uh, there's no but way. He doesn't have anything queued up, but it's either got to be like Meteor Hammer. Does Meteor Hammer even build out of Perseverance anymore? Uh, doesn't it? I'm pretty it, sure it Yeah, does. it does. Perseverance, Crown. Okay. Lotus Orb could be a uh, possible pick up, oh, but uh, while we're I'm distracted busy looking by at that. Recipes, a mini dies to Gunner again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this guy's got I mean, while Jerry's off. looking at recipe. <laughs> Freaking Jerry. Yeah, I don't know why he's not moving our cameras for us, honestly. This guy needs to get it together. It's the, uh, the reason why we're not. rune bottled as well. It's just looking real hard now. Gunner finding absolutely everything he needs to close out this game. There you go. Has the BKB completed now. Double damage rune bottled up. Aegis on him for another two and a half minutes here. I'm not sure how they're going to be able to defend high ground. I mean, it, it feels like they're only they're only 4k net worth up. They're still ahead on kills right now in Jaguars, but it feels like there's a mountain they have to climb. Yeah, and the mountain is Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so strong. Look at this uh, double dim. He'll hold this until the high ground. They, I don't know about that. They just used their fortify before they reached the high ground there. Yeah, they're just still available. They're gonna keep the catapult alive as well. And mid lane, they've caught the faces void. Spear into the cursed crown. Same boy immediately TP's over. There's gonna be the terrorize as well. You have no faces void, no chrono. Your high ground defense in shambles now. Yeah, and Gunner, I imagine he'll just pop this uh, DD rune and start whacking away at this uh, tier 3. Just need to clear out these creeps right here. Catapult will open this one up for him. They're going to go back mid. In comes Mini right into a Fire Blast and a Gust. He has a Yules and a Ghost Scepter. They managed to throw the Dryer into the air, but there is going to be the Hurricane Pike. They're turning their attention on over to the Egg. They're going to be able to bring it down, but Sammy Boy will fall in the process. Backside of the fight, you've lost Mini, and now Hain going to go down to the two supports and Tusk as well. It's a five-man wipe for four Zoomers. Just asserting dominance in this game. Yeah, and Gunner just starts ripping through this tower. So little they're able to do about this one. This is Void is up another five seconds. He's got Chronosphere available, but no Phoenix Egg. They haven't gotten this combination off yet. Is Catapult still alive? No, it died. Okay. It feels bad. But either way, Gunner. And I think I imagine it'll continue to push. I got a couple shots off onto this tower, I believe, before the rest of the heroes spawn. This is the one thing they have going for them. They're so underleveled right now that uh, even though they've lost a fight right outside their base, they're going to be back up in just a moment. Either way, this tier three will uh, go below half HP. 
They don't have egg though, so I don't know where your damage into the Chronosphere is gonna come. I guess you have Sunray. That's about it. Uh, but it's not enough to bring him down twice, and you still got this Aegis for yeah. another 38 seconds, so they don't commit the Chronosphere without there. All they would have done was put it on a cooldown. No, more uh, tower damage going the way of four zoomers looking really good as this game now up to a 9,000 gold lead. Like you said earlier, not that long ago, is pretty close. But now, I mean, Mount it's getting Gunner. a little bit unrecoverable. <laughs> Mount Gunner has a uh, very uh, steep climb all of a sudden. I'm going for the Bloodthorn as well, giving him that uh, silence and the uh, true strike for everyone on his team. Yep, the extra attack speed of mana regen is also in the field for you guys. I'm not, I'm not crazy about it, but there's nothing else that you feel like you really need. It, it can be good. Face of Void uh, still not, doesn't have a BKB for himself, so not going to be able to dispel that. I think that's their number one concern is just being able to blow up this Face of Void. They don't have him online, or if uh, you commit the, the Yule Scepter onto somebody else on Void Spirit, you can just blow them up, think that Orchid or Bloodthorn. Traps uh, continuing to come out, just holding this triangle here on four zoomers. Exactly what they want to be doing when they control the map. And again, so the only lane that they're able to shove out on zoomers is the bottom. I'm just watching Husky sit mid slap creeps because no one's and no one can like reliably go on him, right? Yep. If you commit onto the ogre and there's heroes behind him, you just die. You smoke up on the high ground, the Radiant don't have vision here. They will lose their tier 2 bottom, but overall, they're uh, going to try and wrap around into the Radiant jungle and see if they can find a pickoff. That might be the one, but he, oh, of all runes to grab an invis. Very nice. Sentry drop there. They're looking for him because they did have vision on that uh, rune, but not going to find Brax. Instead, they're going to find the Phoenix, and oh my goodness, that is a quick three auto attacks to die there. So Orchid Reveal doing uh, some nice work. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, he's only down for uh, 38 seconds there and does have buyback available. Still uh, not something he wants to commit. They're wasting no time here on 4 Zoom as Gunner two shots this creep wave. And now he's knocking at your tier threes. At least I think I thought he'd be. I guess he just wants to continue to play it slow. Uh, I, I probably saw what they did in the last game and thought, all right, boys, uh, we base, we almost threw that one. We're up against Faces Void and Phoenix. We'll take it slow as possible. And that's been the case for several of these games. You know, uh, the show match between uh, Arkosh and uh, No Pangolier and uh, one of Sad Boys games, they wait until they're up like 40, 50k gold before we're trying to close it out. Yeah, I remember Arkosh, you know, managed to end the game still like almost 40k behind or something. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit sus. <laughs> <laughs> Meld the spells. Uh, that didn't burn the fire spirit unless he managed to reapply. Uh, it probably reapplied. Okay. Dyer's middle tower Definitely uh, dispellable. That's what, I, that's what I thought. That one is not, however. Are you telling me you can't dispel a laser beam? Be able to. Technology isn't there yet, apparently. Obviously, you always have vision with Roshan and you have, and you have TA mid lane. They're going to jump onto Brax. He does have a Yules, but gets pulled back by a remnant. A beautiful terrorize. There's your arena. Benny with a chrono, but it misses everybody. And all he does is trap his own Void Spirit. Oh, no. He's able to keep himself alive thanks to the Yules. They just call the GG. Benny feels so bad. He DCs immediately. Oh, no. The mental damage that Jaguar has just sustained. Benny, he saw himself out after that one. Oh my god, four zoomers, they take the victory. I mean, it would have been hard in order to take this game, but you needed to be able to combo these Cardinals fans with the eggs, and I don't think we saw it come out a single time that game. Just a severe lack of discipline there by Jaguars, and this was the team that brought down Infamous 2-0.